If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you. I want you to think of something that you place much time in. Think of it. Imagine if you gave God that amount of time. Would you still be struggling in things of God? I don't think so. What if I told you that I want to be very good at playing soccer, which I don't like? <laughs> Let's say I tell you, hey, I don't know why I am not good at playing soccer, I play it five minutes every once every two weeks. So, hey, why aren't I good in playing soccer? What is going on? I don't understand. Now, if I was to tell you that, you would probably laugh at me. Kevin. <laughs> You only put five minutes every two weeks in playing soccer. This is the reason why <laughs> you are very bad at it because you are not placing enough time into it. Okay. What if I told you, hey, I am placing one hour every day in practicing soccer what would you say then that is very good Kevin so if I were to place one hour every day in practicing soccer a person can say hey doing that is better than putting in five minutes every two weeks what if I told you, hey, I place most of my time each day in practicing soccer. Would I come to you and say, I don't know why I am not good at playing soccer. I would not come to you in that way because if I placed most of my time in playing soccer each day, I would think that I would be good after a while unless I have no legs or something. <laughs> well, the same thing is with God. I don't know why you believe that. You can spend your time watching TV all day or playing on your phone all day, on Facebook all day, or work three, four, five jobs, then go to college, then go to your girlfriend's house, then do all this stuff here. I don't know why you think you can do all of that and spend most of your time in doing other things and believe that you are going to be adequate in serving God. I pray that this is making sense. See, if you place things in simple terms, you are going to find out what your problem is. Only going to church on Sundays or Wednesdays, whatever, that is not enough. This has to be an everyday thing. Some people place more emphasis on their earthly life more than their spiritual life. So, if you do that, your spiritual life is going to be lacking. So, what is more important to you? Your earthly life, which is only going to last, hey, less than 80 years, and your spiritual life, it's going to last forever, <laughs> forever, forever. 
So you are placing so much emphasis in this earthly world that it's not going to last, but you are placing pretty much most or all of your energy into it while you are placing little into your spiritual life, which makes no sense. Chances are your earthly life is lacking or bad things are happening to you because you are neglecting, yes, your spiritual life. So when you come to me asking me how to get rid of your sins, I am going to ask you, how much time are you giving God? Really basic stuff here, man. Really basic. I used to go to the weight room at first, <laughs> seven days a week. And then I learned that I was doing it too much because I was injuring myself. Then I dropped down to six days a week, then five days a week. But I was going to the gym five days a week, all day, not all day, about one to two hours every day. And I would see people go there and they would only stay for <laughs> like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And after six or seven months, they would be the same size and not really look like they made any improvements. But with the other people that was staying there for at least one hour or more, after six months or more, I saw improvements in them and and myself too. So if you want to see improvements in your spiritual life, you have to give God more time. So you can ask me to pray for you. You can ask this person here and that person there to pray for you. But the result is pretty much going to be the same. Yes, I can pray for you and things may get better for you for a while or for whatever. But the problem is, is your spiritual life. Because as I always say, you are going to reap what you sow. So no matter how many people pray for you, while you are living you are continuing to reap what you sow. So if you continue to be disobedient to God, curses are coming to you. So I can pray for you every single day, but you are reaping what you are sowing. Yes, my prayers are going to help, but you are constantly generating curses for yourself for being disobedient. So... <laughs> It would make much more sense to change, right? What if I told you every time you walk, you are going to break your ankles, but for some reason you continue to walk and I'm thinking <laughs> if you continue to walk, your ankles are going to break. How about you sit down somewhere or have someone push you in a wheelchair or something? Why would you do something that is going to continue to hurt yourself? Or why would you continue doing something that is hurting you? It would make more sense to do the opposite. Look, listen, man. To get to where I am now, 
And I am not saying that I am all that, blah, 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 because there are people much higher than me, much, much, much higher. And I am not saying that I am on a high level because I have no idea what level I am on. I know that I am on a higher level than I was two years ago. <laughs> but to get to where I am now, I had to give up so much. You have no idea. You have no idea. I had to give up so much. So much. And it was really, really hard. But by giving up those things, my understanding is a lot better. I have gained much more wisdom as well. I understand God much more now than before. And the closer I get to God, the more I see, I still have to give up <laughs> much more things. It is crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. You have to give up your life. Some people may say that I am so strict and stuff like that. What if you see people that is on a higher level than I, <laughs> where they pray six hours or more each day and read their Bible for hours each day? I am not nearly as strict as they, but because of what they do, they are much more closer to God. Uh, my Lord. Please listen to what I am saying. Yes, it may be hard, but it is worth it. Yes, you may cry about it, which I do many times, many times, but it is worth it in the end. Yes, you are going to lose your earthly life, per se. But you gain a stronger spiritual life, which is something that we all need more of. Because I am telling you, once your understanding changes, your perception is going to change, then you are going to look back at how you were and say, hey, I was crazy back then. I was foolish back then. I was ignorant back then. I was childish back then. I was selfish back then. I was dumb back then. I was silly back then. And you are going to move on. You may believe that this is strict because your understanding is not where it should be. I am not calling you stupid or anything like that because you may be earthly smart but you aren't spiritually smart. And it makes more sense to be spiritually smart than earthly smart. I pray that this makes sense. So let me stop here. God bless you all. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.